All right, team, charge! This is unbelievable. Hey, you know something? I'm going to tell you something. This is what it's all about. We eat fishy. Look at the mouth on it. <laughs> Larry Smith Outdoors is brought to you in part by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Big Snow Resort, Jiffy Ice Drills, Hard and Soft Fishing, Bart Line Barrels, Cold Snap Outdoors, Deep Freeze, Otter Outdoors, Commit Law Firms, and Lynch of McGuanagal. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. This week we're up in Oshkosh here and we're at Fishtails and we're right off of County Road A. You know what, and Corey, you're one of them guys that gets up early and what, you open at five o'clock and you might leave here at what time? Usually it's eight or nine by the time I get out of here. Holy <laughs> cats, there were some long hours. You know, the neat part about a shop like this is that Corey does a lot of custom painting on lures, crankbaits, uh, spoons, all sorts of stuff. And I kind of like to come in here and look at this stuff because, you know, like on the Cast Masters, they make 70, over 75 colors in the Cast Master now. But Corey does a lot of custom colors, which are kind of unique because he likes to match a lot of the forge that's like out on our system here in Winnebago. I've got a couple of cast masters that he painted up for me the other day that are like a baby white bass or a baby sheephead. Tell us, Corey, really, you know, what it's all about when you custom paint these lures. I know you've been doing a lot of stuff. I, and I have, and a lot of it with the, the painting is to give guys something a little different than everybody else is using. Um, you know, the lure companies all make a lot of their own colors, but everybody can buy them. So a lot of what I do is I kind of tune things specifically to what the person wants and just to give them that little bit of edge that everyone else doesn't have. It looks like some awesome stuff you have here. So if somebody wants something custom painted, let people know how they can get a hold of you. Sure. Um, you can either get a hold of me by calling the shop. Um, it's 920-385-1154. Otherwise, what most people do is you can go to my Fish Tales page on Facebook and send me a message of what you want. There you can also see I have most of my most of my colors listed on there. You can kind of pick through them and get a hold of me that way. Except for the colors that I have you painted. Except Larry's colors. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> All right, thanks, Corey. Appreciate right, it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I tell you, this week on Larry Smith Outdoors, we're up on our home water on Lake Winnebago, and we finally got on the right fish. The last three weeks have been really tough on us. We've been fishing finicky fish, and we haven't been able to get any numbers. We finally got on a better pot of fish, and it looks like it's gonna probably carry us through the rest of the season. What we're doing is basically working the mud flats. We're working anywhere from 12 to 16 feet of water and working a lot of cast masters with spikes or minnow heads seem to be working pretty good. Hey, I've got my good friend Sue fishing with us. We've been, we've traveled all over the place, North Dakota, all over Wisconsin, and you know what? She's always got the hot hand. What do you have to say for yourself? It's been a while since we fished. Yeah, it has. I, you know, you invite me, I'm here in a heartbeat. I love to fish the right. outdoors. I just pulled up an awesome perch. I just, it exploded, and it's just a gas out here. It's, it's just relaxing, it's fun. It is. And you know how I love the outdoors. You do, so I'll you tell you. when you ask me to come, I'm here. And I'm glad to see that, I'll tell you. You know what? Enjoying the outdoors is what it's all about. And you know what, I always say this, life goes by really fast, so you need to enjoy every day. Hey, stay tuned to see what happens this week on Larry Smith Outdoors out on Lake Winnebago, the largest inland lake in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman Magazine, the premier outdoor magazine. Published in Oshkosh and written by Wisconsin sportsmen for Wisconsin sportsmen. Get the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Hey folks, the Badger Sportsman Magazine wants to see you having fun out in the outdoors and all you have to do to have a chance of winning a brand new propane Pro 4 auger like this is to submit a picture of you having fun out in the outdoors. Go to badgersportsman.com. 
The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jigging or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Proving yet again that the best never rest, Otter introduces Otter Thermal Tech, the proprietary full thermal shell found on every 2015 Otter shelter. Beginning with the all new XTH hub shelters and the all new lightweight one man XT hideout, on up to the ever popular XT and XT Pro Series shelters that have earned a near legendary reputation for unmatched toughness and durability. At Otter, we know stopping at good enough is way overrated. This ice season, see for yourself how the best just keep getting better. about our guiding services that we get out here ahead of time and we get everything all drilled out, we get all the rods in there, all the locators, everything in place, all the bait, the heat is on so when we come back and pick you up on shore, you're ready to fish. Whoa, Lance, look at them guys left. They left some recess in the shack from yesterday. Whoa, gonna be a good day. Hey, I'll tell you what, I want to introduce one of our new sponsors to the Larry Smith Outdoor Show, and it's Otter Outdoors. And I'll tell you, Otter has been around for a long time making quality sleds and quality ice shelters, and we're proud to have them as a new sponsor for the show. That's it. You know, this is another unbelievably awesome product, and Jiffy has always had really good drills. I mean, some of the best, I would say. I mean, how many times do you hear stories from guys that, I've had my Jiffy for 30 years. You know, what lasts that long? Nothing lasts that long anymore. You know, and for us, with our guiding business, we only carry one drill per guy, and that just shows you the dependability and the faith that we have in the product here. So, I love this propane auger. It's been really good to me. I know a lot of guys, has said is there issues in cold weather. I can tell you so far in the last four years, I have not experienced any problems with the propane freezing up myself. So it's been really a reliable product and, and a good product. So I like it. One or two pulls, it starts and away you go. You know, this is another awesome product uh, by Deep Freeze, our, our good friends over there. And it's called the One Shot Skimmer. And it definitely is a one shot skimmer. It's nice because you're not spending all this time slushing and slushing and skimming and skimming all these holes, out, especially now that we're finally getting quite a bit of ice. So you get a lot of build up in the hole. So I'll show you how this one works too. Just stick it down there, you kind of turn it, give it a little thing, and look at that, you guys. Oop, pretty much, there's a little bit left in there and that's a, that's a lot of slush. We're up in a big shove right here. Come back around, two shots, ready to fish. One shot skimmer by deep freeze. You know, a lot of times I don't use any bait at all, but today I loaded it up with spikes here. Uh, seems like a lot of days and we've got a big front coming through, the white bass like the spikes, the walleyes, they definitely don't care because you don't stop that bait long enough. So it's nice just to put a few spikes on there. I've got some red ones on the bottom of that cast master. I'm also using the, the new titanium tip stick uh, by Beaver Dam, which is a pretty nice rod, especially in this scenario. I've got a smaller spoon on here that I'm gonna be working down there, and I'm gonna try to get these fish to lift off the bottom. Now, what happens is I'm gonna drop that down there, and we're in about 
16 feet of water. I'm gonna let it get down to the, towards the bottom. I'm gonna stay up about three feet. Always never go right directly to the bottom and you know, try to stay up and try to get the fish to layer above you. Oh, see, there, see, now do you see that tip stick, that titanium pool, <laughs> there it is. And I'll tell you, look how, <laughs> that fish barely, barely hit that. And you see how many times he came up and down on the screen before I could actually get him, get him to hit, you know? You really gotta mess with some of them. You can't treat them all the same. If you just come in and you get repetitious and, and every fish you just jig the same way, it's not gonna happen out on this lake here. You got a, that Vexlaw right there is definitely your eyes and you have to read that thing and react to the fish the way they're reacting on the locator right there. So that's the key right there. You know, and when it comes to units, I've had pretty much every kind of unit there is. And one thing I really love about the Vexlars is that the durability, I've got units that are over 30 years old and we've got a lot of units because we use them for our business here. And the other part is that you don't get a lot of interference on when you run multiple units. It's one of the few locators that I feel that you can put at least three or four in one shack and it's not scattered all the time. A very easy to, to read, very easy to adjust. Uh, they're just a really good unit right there. See, I got another one down there and that's the key too is that when you get them, once you get them down there is to get it back down there as fast as you can. Another, another one. You know, that's one thing I love about white bass, and they are probably one of my favorite fish to catch in the winter, is that they come in in schools, and the key is always to get them, get, oh, that one really, God, to really get them, hook them and get them out of the water and back down there as fast as you can. You know, this year, a lot of the white bass have been coming off the bottom and the wallies up a little higher, like here. Oh, there we go. That, I just came up a little bit. <laughs> See what I said? You know what, my partner Lance, when you see them, a wall, when, anytime you see something off the bottom, you know, especially like that, that's up, you know, six, eight, 10 feet off the bottom and you're only in 16 feet of water, you know right away that's a walleye. And the key is to reel as fast as you can to get up into that part of the water column and work it hard and just keep lifting. And when they come flying at it, just stop it for a split second. If they don't hit it, just keep reeling. That one, I just, I stopped it for a second and just absolutely drilled it. You know, and the nice part about this system here is that it really is, the Winnebago system is a very unique system, and the fish here are my favorite fish to eat of any place that we fish pretty much. So, there we go, walleye down. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. With ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6-inch, 8-inch, and 10-inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip-ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip-up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. If you want a tip-up that lasts, nothing beats a beaver dam. With over 50 years of American craftsmanship in every one. From our classic tip-up to round models, to the new beaver bucket station or bracket, where your partner on the ice that's never had a meltdown, even if your buddies do. Oh, look at that oh, fish! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Holy Take cow, him, yours, baby. baby! Look at that
I know this is walleye. <laughs> See? I knew right away. You know, they're not the biggest wallies in the world, but as far as eating size, that's absolutely perfect. I knew right away when I seen that 10 feet off the bottom, I just started whining. You know what, that he just came up and just crushed that that bait right there. Again, that cast master. I've got spikes on here, but again, I think it's more for the wall for the white bass than for the for the walleyes for sure, you know. Great little one of walleyes. And again, you know, the key is too, you gotta remember this too, is you're jigging so hard all the time is that make sure you get a really good swivel in here. And I've usually put those this a swivel, you know, a good 12 to 18 inches away from the bait. This year it does not quite as important because the water's really stained this year. You know what happened here is that this fall and in the beginning of the winter was so mild we had all that the participate uh, we had all that uh, water can't coming through and brought the water level sky high and then before it froze we had all these high winds so the water's really dirty this year it's just finally starting to clear up a little bit where you can see four to six foot down but on a normal year this thing you can see 15 to 18 feet of water real easily it, you know because of the zebra mussels our our system is cleared up so much so then i, I go with a little bit longer uh, liter in fluorocarbon but this year definitely does not matter Okay, get him. All right. You guys are really, I cannot believe what he got there. I cannot believe the amount of fish that, there you go. Get him up, get him up, get him up. There you go. Oh, nice job, Wyatt. That's a nice, nice fish. Hey, Wyatt, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? You know, you're, you, you're, you work at the Fin and Feather. Your dad, your mom and dad, and your grandmother, they own the Fin and Feather, right? One of the best places there is to eat, right? Come on, we got to promote. We got to promote your your parents' business. They're letting you take off of school to come out here fishing. Grew up on the water all my life. Uh, started fishing at a younger age, and now 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 I got older, and now they're letting me take the fishing boat out. So I'm on the water pretty much every day in the summer, and ice fishing every day in the winter. Got one, Lauren. All right. Good job. Jeez, this is a big one. There you go, Lauren. <laughs> this is awesome. I guess I kid. You know what? They stole my shack, and now I'm I'm just sitting here. I guess I'm I am the guide. I guess. Nice job, Wyatt. Nice job. Woo! There you go. That is a nice job. Hey, you know again, Wyatt. Honestly, um, my favorite place to eat is definitely the Fin and Feather. You know, your dad. He's a pretty darn good cook. Nice job, nice job, Lauren. Ooh, there you go. You know, it's been going back and forth. Wyatt, Lauren, Wyatt, Wyatt, and then Lauren. You know, look at this pile of fish. You know what? This is an absolutely. This is an awesome day. What do you think about this, Lance? So far, so good, Larry. So far, so good. Can a baiter back up for me? <laughs> you don't need me. <laughs> You don't need meat on that hook. Get her down there. Catch a fish. I know it. What? She has no confidence without that. Okay. Thank you from a freshman to a senior today. <laughs> I just caught this with nothing on. Of course, so you don't need any bait. See, Lance told you. Oh, there you go. Did. Get him up. Lance told you that. Look at that. She didn't believe Lance, and no. when he. Took her fish off when he was in here for a second. He put no bait on there, and you didn't have any confidence thinking that they weren't going to hit that. No. That cast master, you don't need any bait on there. If as long as you move it right, you know what? No bait. Add to the pile. Welcome to Schaefer's Kitchen. This week on Larry Smith Outdoors, I am making venison, um, biscuits, and gravy. Right now, I have. 80% ground venison, Larry's daughter shot, 20% pork. I am adding all my ingredients, rosemary, allspice, nutmeg, salt, hot red pepper, sage, black pepper, sea salt, brown sugar, mix it up completely with your hands. It's the fun part of the whole meal. Mixing it up, making it look good. After it's all mixed up, I throw it in the frying pan. 
I have it all prepared, cooked up ready, ready to go. Take your pan, put Pam in it, cut your biscuits up in small squares. Take three eggs, scram them up real fine. Put your eggs over the top of them. Take your sausage you got all cut up, cooked up, throw that over the top of your biscuits. This is something I get up on Saturday mornings, the kids love it. You just throw this together, it just takes me a couple seconds to do. And then, it's your, your choice how much cheese you want to put in. I use mild cheddar, shredded already from the store, pre-packaged. Sprinkle it over the top. Already it looks pretty good, don't it? All right, and then I have to make the gravy for it. All right, here's the whole part is part of making biscuits and gravy. The gravy has to be done beautiful. Otherwise, I know Larry's going to be mad if he can't put his spoon into this. So I add this cold milk in the hot roux. I put two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour. You got to keep it bubbling. And the hot stuff with the cold milk makes your gravy. Just got to put a little finishing touches on it. A little salt, a little pepper. Look at that. Evenly spread it over the top of the biscuits and the meat and the cheese. Spread it around. I'm going to throw this bad boy in the oven. Take a look at that. Ready, guys? Oven should be at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until it looks just like this. That's your finished product, guys. Now, if we just had some people to stick their fork in and make this thing disappear. I'm Hold here. on. I'm here. Cameraman. I'm here. I'm here they here. come. Here comes the whip. Right. You know what? You know, there's something I never mind is sampling what you got cooking, Steve. I'll oh, tell yeah. you that. Hey, this is a oh, Saturday we morning. Do we need a plate? Oh, no, no. If you guys want to be cannibals, let's get after oh, it. I'm just, I'm all this is a Saturday it. morning, 7 o'clock in the morning. I'll make this for the kids when they get out of bed. Look at how gooey this is. More than Saturday. Oh, mm. Mm. oh you guys, horrible. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Okay, but let me just... Oh, that is absolutely delicious. Prep time is 25 minutes from start to finish. This no is... Kidding. This is awesome. I can't wait that long. Nice job, Sue. Larry, I think he's going to wrap. Keep going. Keep going. Get him. I got one down there, too. No. Oh, oh pull him up. Pull him up. Oh, oh no. that is a big, that's a big bass. Wow. That's sweet. <laughs> I'll take him off for you. Thank yeah, you. that is an awesome fish right there. Oh, I love when they. Yeah, when they hit yeah, it like that. Yeah, that was great. You know, it doesn't get any better, does it? I know. Right nice there. size, huh? Good job. Yep. See? Can I keep fishing? Yeah, keep fishing. Yeah, keep going. Why would I say no? Oh. Did you get them? Uh, yeah, I love this noodle rod. I just switched to that before. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you see that? Oh, he come flying right out of the hole. Kick the kids out of here before. I told them to go back to their own shack. Oh, you got them all over here, Sue. There you go. Oh, that that might. Be, oh, that was a good fish. That might have been a walleye. There we go. Boy, I tell you, that noodle rod. Ever since I went to that noodle rod, now with the smaller jig, this has got that UV on it too. It, and uh, boy, I tell you, they're just absolutely crushing it. You know, the other thing is, it's starting to snow now, so these fish are really coming on. Lancey! <laughs> you guys are fishing outside. I had to go put my jacket on. Ooh, in, ooh. I tell you, this has absolutely been something. You know, I was telling everybody before, we've been out here for about three weeks, and we really kind of struggled for about the there first we three go. weeks. We had a one good day out of maybe four or five. But lately, you know what? We changed what we were doing. We adapted to it. 
and the fishing's been pretty darn good. And I got a funny feeling that rest of the season we're going to have some pretty darn good days. It's going to be a good year, finally on some good fish here, Larry. Yep, some fish that want to bite instead of just marking them all the time. You know, what's your key? I mean, you never use any bait. It, you know, and your your hammered gold is your favorite color, the only right? The that. only bait. You're <laughs> killing me all the time, right? What I tell you, Brian. Oh, look at the snow. She's really coming down, though. Oh, oh, there's something different. Nice perch. Hold that up to the camera, Brian. You know, that's the nice part about Lake Winnebago. We really do have a lot of different varieties of fish. You got a lot of white bass, you got a lot of walleyes, you got halfway decent amounts of perch. Our numbers a couple years ago were astronomical. Now the numbers have gone down and hopefully we have a couple really good hatches this year and bring them perch numbers back up. But the crappie numbers have been pretty good too the last couple of years. So it's kind of interesting. You got white bass, you got a perch. Got a perch. Let's get yeah. some walleyes. All right. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You caught a bunch fire, more white fire, bass. We're on, fire. we're on fire. Was this one up higher? Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, Ooh, go. Get him, get him, get him. Get him. That's a little bit better. No, that's a little stockier walleye, too, right there. Who mouths a walleye? Nobody. Right. Oh, my gosh. You know, again, you know, it's nice to see that this system is a healthy system, and it's nice to see that we're going to have a great winter, rest of the winter out here on, on Winnebago. I know they're catching a lot of fish out in Poygan too, but I'll tell you something, I'd rather fish out here. You can kind of get away from the guys most of the time, and you have options to move. And I like to pull these fish out of the 16, 17 feet of water versus pulling them out of four to six feet of water. So, all right, Castmaster, bait or no bait? A little, little bit of bait. Oh, a few spikes on there, huh? Yep. You're not like Lance, huh? Lance no. is like, I'm not putting any of that bait under. Hey, I will say something to Lance's credit, though. Before he came in the shack and I was fishing with Lauren, and she had bait on, and she caught a couple of white bass, and Lance took off the last one, and she's like, you can't put my spoon back down there without any bait. And Lance gave her the old schooling, saying, you know what, you want to graduate or not? She put it back down there, and Lance had left. She must have caught at least six or seven more fish without bait. Now she's in the shack fishing with Isaac and Wyatt with no bait, giving him a hard time. <laughs> it's all confidence, my friend. All right. Hey, we had a great morning out here on Lake Winnebago. It's about one o'clock. We've got a huge snowstorm coming in. We're out of here. You know what? If you want to enjoy some great fishing out on the Winnebago system, give Lance and I a call at 920-361-4996. Remember, we pretty much supply everything you need. All you need to do is show up with a license and have something to drink and everything else we take care of you. Hey, for Larry Smith Outdoors, guess what? Definitely a great day to be alive, and thank you. Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm piling up some wine. Why? Looks to me like you've been eating Twinkies. How many have you had? <laughs> One. One box? <laughs> Maybe I've had two. <laughs> I'm tying lines up. That's all you tie lines up. You gotta eat Twinkies. What are you bothering me for, anyways? <laughs> I'm supposed to be filming them guys catching fish. <laughs>